In this video, we will discuss the concept of uniform continuity. You should read the subsection of section 4.4 before watching this video. Uniform continuity is stronger than our earlier notion of continuity at a point and applies to subsets of the real numbers rather than to single domain points. Let f be a function from a to r where a is a subset of real numbers. We say f is uniformly continuous on a if for every positive epsilon there is a positive delta such that if x and y are in a and x and y are not more than delta units apart, then f of x and f of y are not more than epsilon units apart. First observe that the definition above does look like our epsilon delta definition of continuity at a point which we discussed in theorem 4.2.8. Take a moment to compare the two statements. Notice that the only significant difference is that we have not specified a domain point C in the definition of uniformly continuous. In other words, the definition is considering continuity at all points of A simultaneously. We will see this in our proofs in the fact that our choice for delta depends only on epsilon when proving that a function is uniformly continuous on a set, whereas when we were showing a function was continuous at a point, delta was allowed to depend on both epsilon and the specified domain point C. This is illustrated in example 4.4.7 for the function f of x equals x squared on the domain r. For our first example, we will show that the function f of x equals 2x plus 4 is uniformly continuous on the real number line. To show that f is uniformly continuous on r, we let epsilon be positive. To make our choice for delta, notice that the distance between f of x and f of y is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus the quantity 2y plus 4, which simplifies to the absolute value of 2x minus 2y, which is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x minus y for any x and y in r. Thus, if we choose delta equal to epsilon over 2, then it follows that the distance between f of x and f of y is less than epsilon whenever x and y are not more than delta units apart. Now we provide a formal proof. To show that f of x equals 2x plus 4 is uniformly continuous on r, let epsilon be positive. Choosing delta equal to epsilon over 2 and letting x and y be real numbers with absolute value of x minus y less than delta, we have that the distance between f of x and f of y is equal to absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus the quantity 2y plus 4, which simplifies to absolute value of 2x minus 2y, which is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x minus y, which is strictly less than 2 delta, and this is equal to epsilon. Thus it follows that f is uniformly continuous on r. For a second example, let's show that the function f of x equals x squared plus 2 <clears throat> is uniformly continuous on the interval 2 to 4. Here we will see how the domain can affect our proof. As before, we begin by assuming epsilon is positive. Doing some algebra, notice that the difference between f of x and f of y is equal to the absolute value of x squared plus 2 minus the quantity y squared plus 2, which is equal to x squared minus y squared. This is equal to a product, absolute value of x minus y times absolute value of x plus y. And this holds for all x and y in the interval 2 to 4. Here, we see two variable factors. We have control over the first term, absolute value of x minus y, due to the fact that we will, we will assume this quantity is less than a delta, which is to be specified. To deal with the factor absolute value of x plus y, we use the triangle inequality. Notice that absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y, which is less than or equal to 4 plus 4 since both x and y are in the interval 2 to 4. Therefore, absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to 8 for all x and y in the interval 2 to 4. Thus, we see that the distance between f of x and f of y is less than 8 times the absolute value of x minus y for all x and y in the interval 2 to 4, and hence we will choose delta equal to epsilon divided by 8. For our proof, 
to show that f of x equals x squared plus 2 is uniformly continuous on the interval 2 to 4, let epsilon be positive. Choosing delta equal to epsilon over 8 and letting x and y be real numbers with absolute value of x minus y less than delta, first notice that absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to 8, as we computed earlier. It then follows that the distance between f of x and f of y is equal to absolute value of x squared plus 2 minus the quantity y squared plus 2, which is equal to x squared minus y squared. This is equal to the product absolute value of x minus y times absolute value of x plus y, which is less than or equal to 8 times absolute value of x minus y. This is strictly less than 8 delta, which is equal to epsilon. Thus, we conclude that f is uniformly continuous on the interval 2 to 4. Now, how would this argument change if we switch the domain to the interval 3 to 6 or to the interval negative 1 to 3? Pause the video now and work through these two examples. I'll wait. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. Um, okay. Often we will want to show that a function is not uniformly continuous on a set A and the following criterion provides a means of doing so. Let f be a function from A to R. Then f is not uniformly continuous on A if there exist sequences x sub n and y sub n in A and a positive real number m such that absolute value of x m minus y n converges to zero as n goes to infinity while the distance between f of x sub n and f of y sub n is always greater than or equal to capital N for every n. The theorem uses a sequential approach which is slightly different from our definition given earlier. However, thinking intuitively, the definition of uniform continuity says that any time two domain points are close together, then it must be the case that the corresponding range values are close together. To show that a function is not uniformly continuous, we need to find domain values that are close together, but whose corresponding range values are not close together. For an example, we will show that the function f of x equals x squared plus 2 is not uniformly continuous on the interval 1 to infinity. To show this function is not uniformly continuous, we must make several choices. Explicitly, we must choose a sequence xn and a sequence yn. And it must be the case that the distance between xn and yn converges to zero as n goes to infinity. Be careful here. It is not necessarily the case that both xn and yn are convergent sequences. The point is that the difference of these two sequences is convergent and converges to zero. Finally, we must choose a positive real number m such that the distance between f of x sub n and f of y, f of y sub n is greater than or equal to m for every n. This last condition says that the corresponding range values of the two sequences are not close to one another. To make all of these choices, we first consider the domain points. This is represented by the sequences x sub n and y sub n. Take a moment now to sketch the graph of x squared plus 2. It's clear that the graph becomes steeper and steeper as we choose larger and larger values of x. This means that the function is spreading points further apart as we move further towards infinity in the domain. Thus, it seems reasonable to consider two sequences of large numbers, but whose differences are getting smaller. We will choose x sub n equal to n and y sub n equal to n plus 1 over n. With these choices, notice that the absolute value of x n minus y sub n is simply equal to 1 over n, and the distance between f of x sub n and f of y sub n is equal to the absolute value of, f of x n squared plus 2 minus the quantity y n squared plus 2, which simplifies to absolute value of x n squared minus y n squared. Substituting for x n and y n, this becomes n squared minus the quantity n squared plus 2 plus 1 over n squared, where we have expanded the quantity n plus 1 over n squared. Simplifying, this becomes 2 plus 1 over n squared, which is always greater than or equal to 2 for every n. It is clear that if we choose capital M equal to 2, then we have that the distance between xn and yn converges to zero, and the distance between f of xn and f of yn is always greater than or equal to capital N. Thus, we conclude that f is not uniformly continuous on the interval 1 to infinity. That is the end. Uniformly continuous. Dunzo.
Peace out.